Hey guys, I was recently given the opportunity to test drive this lens for the Fujifilm X mount, and this is the Taipok Tibich Cimera 20 millimeters f 1.4. And I have some thoughts about this lens. Let's talk about it. First thing, right off the bat, this lens is a full frame lens. It's made for full frame sensors. So a 28 millimeter f 1.4 on a Fujifilm camera with its APS-C crop will be 40 millimeters. Now at this focal length, it's a very standard focal length. It's somewhat close to the natural perspective that we see with our eyes. I'm beginning to enjoy this focal length a little bit more because I really like the 23 millimeter and the 35 millimeter focal length on the Fujifilm X mount. Uh, you guys probably know by now that these are um, that my favorite lenses that I enjoy shooting with are the 23 millimeter f1.4 WR LM and XF 33 millimeter f1.4 WR LM. So this lens fits right in the in between these focal lengths. Uh, so this lens does feel at home for me. When we take a look at this lens and you see the markings and the way that it's built, it just feels like any other third party manual lenses that came before. If you were to hand this lens to me without its branding, I would automatically think it was a seven artisans lens. But what's interesting is when you turn the aperture dial, you see here that there are the, that the more you turn, you see these little red dots appear to let you know that you switch aperture. Do I think it's a feature that I find valuable? Probably not, but it's there to be different, I guess. We also have a focus tab right here as well. And I have to say manual focusing with this uh, lens has been a pleasant experience. It has a good resistance to it. And while I was trying to focus, I had zero issues. I've been getting more in focus shots, manual focusing than I do relying on the Fujifilm's autofocusing system. The aperture dial is also clicked, and as a photographer, I appreciate this. The filter thread size is 49 millimeters, so it's a very small f1.4 full frame lens. Now, I've been seeing this lens getting a lot of praises on the internet lately, and I wanted to see for myself if the hype was warranted. I know nothing about Tippage and the brand. All I know is that they make interesting lenses. Some say that it has a Leica like quality, but it's hard for me to say because I never used a Leica manual lenses before. Uh, because, you know, that thing costs like $3,000, so I, you know, it's too rich for my blood. <laughs> so I have like no reference to say whether or not this lens produces like a like image quality. What I can tell you though, my time with this lens, using it as a um, portrait photography lens and a travel lens here around the Algarve, I've been very happy with this lens. I've been happy with the images that it produces. Uh, the center sharpness at f1.4 was excellent. Although I feel that this lens didn't have the contrast at f1.4 like some other lenses, the sharpness was there, especially uh, on the Fujifilm XS20, which I was using for the entire duration of this review. Stopping it down, you do see this lens uh, sharpness uh, increase. The lens actually has some good uh, flare control as well. There was nothing I, I would deem as distracting like I've seen on other third-party Chinese lenses before. No jarring flares or anything like that. There are minor purple and green fringing when shooting in high contrasting scenes. And I haven't noticed anything uh, funny looking and distracting from that as well. When it comes to the bokeh at f1.4, I thought it was great. For a lens that was praised for many by many big-time influencers out there, I actually thought this lens was a little bit too clean for my liking. I was expecting a little bit more imperfections, more character, but I didn't get that from this lens. And you know, that was because uh, all these YouTube titles that I mentioned something like budget, like a lens. I was just expecting totally different things from what I got. It's not to say what I got out of this lens was bad. I just thought, I thought, I thought this lens was great, but it's, it was great in a different way. In my opinion, the lens produces some clean looking images. The bokeh has a nice look to it. You can get in close and get that background blur because of the minimum focusing distance, which is at 40 centimeters. I also noticed that this lens have has like a slight pop to an image depending on the light. There are a couple of gripes that I have with this lens and one of them is the price. It's coming in at 699 USD. For some of you, you may find this expensive. For people that's coming from the Leica, from Leica, this is pennies compared to what you guys have to buy. So it's all perspective. <laughs> but I do find pricing at this at $699 will have to make me think twice uh, about making uh, um, about making this purchase. If it was like a couple of hundred dollars cheaper, I would probably buy it instantly. Another thing I would love to get for this price tag is electronic contacts at the back of the lens. 
If we would have had that in this lens, I think the price would be justifiable. I would love for Taipa to add digital contacts just so we can record the EXIF data so I know which aperture I value I shot with. Because after I finished, you know, the shoot, I really don't remember what aperture I shot with. Electronics uh, contacts would have been a great feature to have. But at the end of the day, the price really comes down to the individual. Yeah, what's my overall take? This lens performs well. I got some great images with this lens and it's an interesting lens for sure. I can't help uh, but think what this lens and images would look like if it was mounted on a full frame camera. But that's for another time and another video. And I hope me sharing with you guys the sample images, you get to see how this lens performed. Typoc is having a Black Friday special right now. So if you're interested in picking up a lens uh, for the Fujifilm X mount, L mount, E mount, Z mount, or RF mount, use the link down in the description below and use the promo code tongue and you will get free shipping when you check out. So yeah, that, those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts on these uh, Taipop lenses? Do let me know in the comments section below and consider subscribing for more photography tips and trick and gear content on this channel. And thanks so much.